Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the First Battle of Sabine Pass, Texas, located in Jefferson County on September 24th to the 25th, 1862. In September of 1862, Union Rear Admiral David Farragut had three ships under the command of Master Frederick Crocker, a captain of the Union steamer USS Kensington, along with the mortar schooner Henry James and the schooner USS Rachel Seaman, to attack and take the port of Sabine City. The naval vessels sailed into Sabine Pass on September 23rd. On the morning of September 24th, they opened fire on Confederate Major Joseph S. Irving's shore battery, consisting of 28 artillerists who manned the guns, along with 30 Confederate cavalrymen. During the battle, the Confederates were unable to fire back as the range of the Confederate guns could not reach the Union ships. Because of this, the Confederate troops could only seek shelter from the artillery bombardment. That evening, after the Union ships had stopped shelling, the Confederate commander surveyed the damage and ordered his men to destroy their own guns to avoid them falling into enemy hands and retreated from the area. The next morning, on the 25th of September, the Union ships finished their job and destroyed the Confederate fortifications. Once this had been completed, Master Frederick Crocker accepted the surrender of Sabine City and captured eight small Confederate ships along with it. No casualties have been reported for this battle for either side. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Yeah.